is here. So let you start, okay? Very much. I'm honored to have this chance to give this talk. And let me just start it with the, the medical history in early Taiwan. And in our setting authenticity. Authenticity. That is the topic that Dr. Cho assigned me. <laughs> and and of course, especially assigned me in for the Dr. Nigerian's uh, memory. That is especially meaningful. Okay, let me say what. And you boys see this picture. This is more official one. And you should to be presented to the funeral or other books. But I like better on the left. I like better. Okay, that's actually, if you have experience to close contact with him, this is probably more like him in the, uh, how he deal with people. Okay, I said, I told you, I signed by Dr. Cho about my use this authenticity. Okay, uh, I'll say that Taiwan tai is to be zheng chui ke kao. Oh, that is the Taiwanese, that is most important thing in medicine or anything. But unfortunately, I see Dr. Cho put this one in the topic, asked me to present first with purpose. It is the best way to memorize Dr. D. In newer generation in Taiwan, including the leader academic medicine, dean of medical school, dean of the, French, uh, the president of medical university, all disregard this one. Very, very unfortunate. Right? So, and that's attention. That's why I think Dr. Cho chose me as Presented, present, use this topic. Why? Why there's so people in Taiwan? All the special is, of course, education and society promote this system. What kind of system? Bias, ideology, it's that political origin. You got to follow me. You have no question. And censorship, I will mention, especially the censorship. And careless and no, not serious. Mama, who, who, okay? <laughs> the people say double host, double, double tiger. Some of people start to write in English. Double, ah, you are so double horse and double tiger, okay? What that is, this tiger or a horse, doesn't matter. And two or four, doesn't matter. And the, this is the dean of the medical school right later to me. I saw you are wrong, biologically wrong, you are later. In your article, you say, oh, two is not that important. Wu Shang Da Ai. Wu Shang Da Ya. This medical school didn't say that. Only have only an important defect and not matter much. Okay, such education and society do this way. Start from what? From the president. Okay. So, for example, the censorship. I wrote. I was invited by the medical education institute to write an article about the education of the model, good model as an education for Dr. Lee. After. So I write it, invite it. I write 1,200, 12,000, very carefully uh, written. And just before he would die for 20, 10 years, and the Department of Pharmacology want to print that one. He said, you are writing so well, can I print it? Then they agree, get a degree from the Gojia Jiao Yu Yan Jiao Yu Institute to agree, so they print it. Then one day, when they want to publish him themselves, they give me censorship. They, they remove 16% of content of the article. What they remove? Everything I say, society is wrong. What Dr. Lee is fighting for, remove it. Everything I say is wrong. I said, so what that article for? Lee is famous to get the right thing, right down. Wrong thing should be excited. And he removed that one. So I refused to be published. So I did not, this one was not published, but actually published in Department of Pharmacology, the, the book. I said, how, I'll say, I'll say, nitty <laughs> yeah, zheng chie ke kao. This is best example. When, talk, when, I write, when I write the biograph, I write probably, many of them probably receive my letter to get me a contribution. One of the contributions from the Dr. Chen Yongji, he said, one Dr. Chen asked Dr. Li to edit Dr. Chen's paper. Dr. Li came to my, Dr. Chen's office, asked him, that's me, that's as Dr. Chen, prepare all the reference to be ready for Dr. D to check. Dr. D wanted to make sure those citations were correct. This is really serious, the spray, you can see how serious he is, okay? I, I have very short contact with him for about 
five or six times. But every time I talk to you, talk to him, I have the sense, a strong sense of the rightness. And see how he say he want to do and see that. Okay, I, I don't have time to go through, but I just want to tell you that, all right? Then, just because of for his influence, I write a serious article. Try to be serious about the importance of right <laughs> medical information. Unfortunately, I don't want to say that. A dean of medical school say that is Wu I don't know what else I can do. Okay. So, and then go back to the <laughs> modern uh, medicine in Taiwan. Okay, we should be retarded with physicians from the Europe and North America. That's what our medicine started. Those trade, Zhong Yi, I don't count it, okay? All the medicine, the Taiwan medicine started from them. That two mission system in Taiwan is from uh, south and north too far, okay? And also, not too many people know that the, even the one that CD talked about, the medicine that mentioned, <coughs> medical officer of Imperial Chinese Maritime Custom Service. It, it, Qin Dai, Qin Chao's the, the, the Shui Guan. They, in Qin Chao, the Qin dynasties, they had the customer service, Shui Guan, is managed by, my, by British, or total British. And interesting, they had a system they called the medical officer. It's one in the Anping and the Dagao, now Kaohsiung, and North in Danxue in Jilong. They had two officers every time. So it's very important. I will mention that one. And actually, not too many people know Qin actually, right? Qin Chao actually invited one of the foreign doctors to be their, their physician. But foreign countries, that, uh, sometimes that, uh, the, some of the visiting ship come into the Taiwan. They take care of the Taiwan people for a short period. And I think that we should be very serious about the uh, medical history. Look, this is two typical ones, still in the internet, that so-called Western medicine in Thai, early Taiwan had video. They had 10 of them, uh, five of them. I see many people. I, I've, I sent to everybody to read, to many, many people here, I sent it. But unfortunately, quite a few mistakes. Don't say not just quite a few, quite a lot of mistakes to me, OK? Some of them were medical and history impossible. Medically impossible, biological impossible, and, and mentioned there. And I write to them, nobody care. Nobody in the, of the, 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 the TV station or the uh, church official answer me. Nobody. I write for the 10 paper. No, no 10, nobody care. Some of them, but tell you to me, it really, really tarnish the contribution of those physicians. That's very unfortunate. <coughs> but nobody care. That is whole thing society. Unfortunately, not only government, church too. Okay. Okay, I, let's go back to the most important modern history people here in three. is Dr. Maxwell, Dr. Lansborough, and Revenue McKay. So I said McKay, I especially put here, he's a revenue, he's not a physician, okay? But he is probably, I would say even probably more important than other people. I don't say that. He's equal, they are, they are equally important, but they are very important, but he's a, a reverend, reverend, okay? He's not a physician, okay? Like before, eight, the Taiwan's medicine staff on South, remember that, all right? James Maxwell, 1865 to 70 and 83 to 85, twice in Taiwan. And this one is not that, no, it's, it's short period, but seven years, even that. The Matthew Dixon, this is the most important, very interesting, Peter Anderson, in Taiwan, 30 years. I ask people here, how many people know Anderson here? Probably nobody know, okay? And, then and Russell and uh, I was mentioned this one and a few other people, okay? <coughs> and Dr. James Maxwell, of course, he's the one that established this, the Taiwan's medicine. Then Xin Lao, Xin, Lao, Xin Lao Hospital is established from his clinic first, okay? He's a very interesting story, the first physician. His other very interesting story, the contribution is he's one, he, not other. He is one translate Bible to Taiwan Holo language. Okay, he is one initiated, and uh, he did the most work himself. Peter Anderson served in Taiwan for thirty years. He's one of the most important contributor in early me medical education. Early medical education that he contributed, and he's the one that actually educate quite few practitioners 
in Taiwan. Okay, and he probably has trained about the one that actually practiced in medicine probably 50, 60 later on for 30 years. And I actually write the article, and this is English summary. Doc, 30 year career, Doc Peter Anderson in Fuxian, uh, Fuxian, Tainan, and uh, Dachau. And these two people, I think, part, we Taiwanese should be memorized very well. Should, should be know them well. One is Dr. Russell. You see, he's in Taiwan 20 years. He died late 20s. Get infection somewhere during serve the people and die in Taiwan. And this is uh, Elizabeth Christie. He's also the, uh, is a, the wife of the reverend. And he's the, we can call him the first Taiwan's pediatrician and OBGYN. If you have OBGYN, you should remember. He's the first OBGYN in Taiwan, all right? <laughs> and he died in Taiwan. That's why he, he also, both of them in Bori in the Tainan's, the, the uh, foreigner's uh, cemetery. The afterward in South, there are quite a few people. The Lansborough, Maxwell Jr., his son, the old of that, and Dr. Taylor, I mentioned that, and these other people. They all, especially this, the, uh, this one, and Ty Taylor, and Maxwell, and, and educated quite a few the uh, medical practitioner. And uh, Dr. Lance Borrow, probably is one of the most important, uh, one of the famous people in Taiwan about the history. Many people don't know that. He has in served Taiwan more than 40 years. Remember that, 40 years. And uh, in Zhanghua in Tainan, founder of Zhanghua Christian Hospital, one of the most important contributors early medical education. And everybody probably heard this story. He did a skin graft from his wife to one of the patients, his children, a child, for the, because they had the, uh, necrosis of the skin, and he tried. But they did not grow. And this is the one that's victim that when they don't survive, he said, skin did not grow on me, but it did grow in my heart. I think it's a very good sentence for the people that receive. OK, I think that mind should be changed to all Taiwanese should be grew in all Taiwanese heart. Okay. And this is so people. This is one of the, this is the Max uh, Lansborough. He served in 40 years. Uh, the uh, junior, the Maxwell, he served in time 22 years. And Peter Anderson, 31 years. So all together, these people served Taiwan in 94 years. And nobody know him. Very unfortunate. And this is another one. He's also served Taiwan for uh, eight, five, four, 13 years. He's also educated a lot of Taiwanese. I just want, OK. This is probably one of the most important ones. So when I say the authenticity, the zheng chue ke ke, very unfortunate. We Taiwanese write the article not very well. So we need to search for, search for foreign literature. I said Dr. Taylor is so important, it's very important uh, people. Even foreign, foreign uh, Canada recognize that. Canada exists, the, the called Roland, OK? Come to Taiwan to serve, to go to England, we say, get grant for 20,000. So he, he searched very extensively, write a very good article of the George Bush Taylor and the medical mission for Mosa in the Journal of Medical Biography, OK? But Taiwan, I don't think anybody knows that article. Nobody cited it before, OK? So that's why I want to do it. We need to be accurate. We need to search a lot of literature. Dr. Taylor and his wife, that his wife is a nurse. His most intuition is write a, no, one of his big intuition is write what? A medical textbook, actually a nursing textbook in what? In Holo, in Bei be Weiji, huh? Be Weiji, Holo, all, uh, no, he is one, OK? I actually, ha I, I don't have the copy. I had the uh, Xerox copy. You see that? They're written in the, the Holo uh, with some of the Han and later on with some of the English later on. I think this one may not be. Some of the places have English, just few words. You can see that. They can that. Actually, I'm so excited. I tried to find one. The last few, few couple of months, I found a new, a new evidence. There is one textbook even before the uh, Taylor's. I found one book. It's probably one of the first the, the, the textbook in Beiweiji. I think it's written by Dr. Li Yan, uh, Lin, Lin Yan Chen and Anderson. Did anybody know Lin Yan Chen? Who is Lin Yan Chen? He is the 
grandfather of Yin Zhong Yi, Yin Zhong Guang. Okay. I, I recently I write an article because I'm so interested. I write, Dr. Lin, you know, Mr. Lin Yan Chan is the first medical professor in Taiwan. Anybody believe that? Okay, wait, I see. Okay, I will try to, 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 to write the article. Okay, I read up. But I try to find them, but I cannot find I find the, 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 the owner of the son of owner of this book, but he did not answer me yet. <laughs> okay, so next one, I just want to make in South medical officer, imperial Chinese, Shui Guan, the uh, medical officer. The most important one, Patrick Mason. Patrick Mason is the father of tropic medicine. I think everybody knows that, knows that tropic medicine. He's very important. He should not get a Nobel Prize, but he did not. Because his, his student get Nobel Prize, he did not get it. But David, Mav, David his brother, Rennie, and Wack Meyer, he established actually the first medical school. Official has established medical school, but lasts only one year. And was, you know, ab abandoned later on. So this is important. This from not only from not missionary, he did, but related to missionary, okay? So actually, northern part of Taiwan, Mackay, is not physician. But during that, before 95, it's only one physician on, in, the, in northern Taiwan for two years. So you, you know, he is not physician, but he takes responsible for health for the physician in north for 20 plus more, the 70, or 70s to so about 30 years, okay, before he died in 1980, okay. So but I, I will mention a few minutes later on. Then this is of those people that serve in the Northern Missionary Physician, Ferguson, and this one, and the Taylor was come back to Taipei, uh, Taipei later on. And this old uh, Macru is also very interesting, I mentioned later on. So there are many interesting, uh, this one is something special, it came from Japan, because Japanese uh, leader, he can speak Japanese, yeah. So of course, most people remember uh, Joe uh, McKay is pulled the teeth, okay? That's why he had pulled the teeth more than 10,000 during their lifetime, uh, during the tw 20, 30 years. Okay, this is, first, uh, the, this is the first clinic, is the origin of our modern McKay Memorial Hospital. Okay, this from there. This is a very interesting story. But you can see that this is what? This is McKay. This Chinese uh, assistant. Okay, and this is one of, I think this is Rainey. I find out later on that he was one help to, to take care of the patient, do the surgery, and he will help. So why? This is just try to tell you. McKay can do the medical care, not, he did himself too, okay? But he do the surgery, he did the something, because he has some basic training, but he's not physician. But later on, actually, he had a lot of the help from the northern part of Maritime Customs Service, from North, okay? And, Many of them, I don't want to mention. Here, one of the most important one I will mention in Ringer, okay? Ringer is most important one is what? He helped McKay. Then what happened is, because he helped McKay, all the Taiwan medical literature tried to say that McKay find the paragonimiasis, the fei si chong. Fei si chong is found by the Ringer is not my Mackay. Mackay had nothing to do with, with the paragonimiasis. Nothing to, the Mackay clinic, nothing to do with that. But Taiwan history is so wrong that I just write the article, made mistake in association Mackay and Mackay clinic with the decap is nothing to do with that. Why? People just, that's why I don't like Taiwan's people writing in so inaccurate medical history. And somebody even, I, I say that, somebody even sent a letter say, you are wrong, you see, this is literature, say that. Literature, wrong literature, <laughs> okay? But yeah, okay. This is the, the very interesting, if anybody wants it, I can talk to any, if anybody wants me, invite me to go to your place, I will talk to this one. <laughs> Most interesting one. This is the Ringer, I said Ringer. This is uh, the one I said, the father of uh, tropic medicine, uh, uh, the Patrick uh, Man Man Manson. And he write, uh, uh, Manson. He write article in 1881. He came to Taiwan for four years, almost five years, and left to China. 
Then later on, he writes an article because Dr. Ringo finds the, the parasite inside the lung. And that patient was also Dr. Manson's patient. So Ringo is so nice, write a letter to tell him that. So I find your patient, that, the patient you helped me to take care of. Actually, it's the patient in Taiwan. Manson was in China to try to help him. And take care of he write him. He said, I preserve that lung with the, the, in the alcohol. And years later, Manson in, Thai, in find a, some egg, the sputum egg, looked like an egg. He's very clever. He thinks, ah, that must be related to Ringo's finding. So he asked Ringo to mail the stuff to him, that, the bottle that's preserved. And he checked on the bottom. And it's all the, it's truly, is what? It's a parasite. So he's the first one. Actually, it's fine by Ringo, so that's why they first, first come to Stoma Ringery. And the Manson, uh, Manson reported, OK. Do you know why they call the one, uh, one bother? It's very interesting, too. I'm not going to <laughs> no time to tell. Actually, why? This is it Marquez's uh, grandson. Grandson is first graduate from Taihok University, OK? Di, Taipei Di Da, first graduate, first year graduate. He's very interested in Taiwan history. So one day, he talked to other people, say how important Ringo find this guy, and he talked to them. And this unfortunate is the one that Marquez, the author, was among the audience. Oh, he didn't know that. He thinks that what he talked about Ringo's, single, uh, Ring, Ringo's finding is Marquez's finding. So he write it uh, in this uh, auto, uh, biography in the Marquez that time. This is, this is probably one of the authoritative the Marquez history. Said, oh, Marquez find the uh, paragomasi and find out life cycle. That's totally wrong. Life cycle is 15 years, 15 years after Marquez died. Okay, so that's impossible. But if, have been, if you go to Taiwan's literature, they are all this kind of message. If you go to the, the search to the para fei zi chong or fei zi chong, all this kind of story, nobody wants to listen to me. I write to the medical authority, I write to everybody. I write to the medical I write to the one, nobody care. That is the whole thing in Taiwan society. Nobody care. The medical, the biological, impossible thing, they don't care. Okay, actually, yeah, probably people know that in the, we will probably all will know, the, the Yokogawa, okay, Nakagawa is one actually in certain that 10, 15, uh, 12 years to 15 years later, they both uh, find the paragon life cycle and find everything the life cycle. So that is one try to see to be authenticity is very important. Okay, let me just, uh, how many minutes I have? 10 minutes? Oh, okay, then I get slower. So actually, Taiwan's people serve in Taiwan, they have very interesting. I mentioned before Taylor. Taylor, that once a Canadian Medical Association, actually get the grant for the Roland came to write an article and publish it. He go to England and go to Canada and go to Taiwan to interview people, write it. That's why I try to people need to be serious when you write an autobiography. Uh, biography. Don't we just write anything one? So many people, that is one of them in the international, don't say well, no, internationally noticed by people. Another people is the Dr. Robert McCrew, Lo Ming Yuan. Did anybody know who is Lo Ming Yuan? Raise your hand. Nobody know. <laughs> Yes, uh, who, who, where, anybody here trained in Marquette Hospital? <coughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> you ever heard Lomian? Nobody ever. Interesting, why the Macru became Lomian? Lomian is a very interesting story. I tell you, this is, this is a picture from the Taiwan. Okay, this is in his biography. Okay, this is from Taiwan. His very interesting story. Actually, so interesting, he has people to go to, go to the interview the people, most related people, and write a book for three volumes. Mark Crew, because I, I cannot get very well of the, in the face, I just use the first phase. Mark Crew has three volumes, Year of Challenge, and no, this volume two, yeah, volume three is the book here. It's good, it's very interesting book that I'm trying to say, but the, the very interesting book, because he has served, he died about 90 plus years. He actually he's not born in Taiwan, in China. His father was in 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 China. Okay, and when Mackay gets sick, okay, 
and his father came all the way from Thai, from uh, from uh, China to Taiwan. Okay, examine him, take care of him for last months of his life. So he write five very well, probably only one well physician documented what Dr. Marquet had. Very fortunate when I tried it, I find this one. So I, I go to the, uh, society, the Christian, that's the, the mother uh, society in Canada, try to get that later. I don't know how to get it. I tried to, they won't allow me to, 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 to do a search. For, go to, uh, no, 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 they, won't, they won't search for me. There's somebody not it. And then, very interestingly, this is something that you need to write a lot of later, okay? <laughs> so I write a lot of that data, and I got the granddaughter of Marquet. I told him, I told her story, that he go to that uh, society and find a five later for me. Very, I don't, I don't have time to go through. If anybody in Northern California, I will give this talk on Wednesday, okay, about this one. The story about his father and uh, Marquet, how he take care of patients, how what kind of the infection, what kind of cancer they have. So it's not very detailed, but at least it's, it's the medical physician examination documented, okay, and write this story. And so if you see those later, you can see those people written about the Marquet's last few days all wrong, okay? That's why I try to see people need to be serious. And nobody in Taiwan is serious. That is really unfortunate, including, I'm sorry to say that, medical his, no, history of the Sheng Jin Xue Yuan, they all same. I write and nobody cares. That is a whole thing that bothers me. Mm -hmm. Okay, yes, one. So, okay, let me just go to finish. I have five minutes. So I write on time. <laughs> Thanks for your attention, okay? I'll send, I'll send History is the most important. I think I get this very strongly. I think everybody understands. History of Taiwan in, is very interesting and probably most unique in the world. Okay, very interesting. But when I write to uh, one of the communication I had is one of the physicians from the Nauru too. He later on go back to Taiwan. I write to him. He said he agreed. He wrote this one back to me. Said ah, I agree with you. Taiwan history is the most medical history, the most important one. I think exchange between Taiwan and other countries, especially Europe, North America, should be further studied. It's important, and medical is one of them. Okay. Mission physicians play the most important role and contribute significantly to the development of modern medicine in Taiwan. It's very, very, very interesting. So I think that intention that I try to mention here is authenticity is we Taiwanese Americans can contribute through our easier asset to Western literature. Taiwan did not try. Nobody really wants to try to do that. Now it's easy. Don't say easy. With, now with all the internet, you can reach it. Like the one I talked talk about, the medical literature about the... Uh, oh, that's one, of course, this one is, I found it from literature. I write to the author. He also very kindly uh, write back to me. This one, article 1881. There's no way in Taiwan, you, in, in United, you can find this journal. Where you can find it? In the library long. Okay, in the library long from Taiwan, you can do it too. I get, I write to them to try to get this article. In six, next day, they email me the, the article. So you, we should, our, we can do better job than Taiwan people do. So I think this is what we can do. Okay, that's our lesson. Okay, thank you. Uh, like a dictionary, living dictionary of uh, medical history of Taiwan. Uh, we have one minute's question, okay? You, you have a question? I have a very, very important question. Uh, <laughs> okay, I'm very uh, moved by his speech, but you are quite familiar with the Taiwanese history of medicine. Yes. Yeah. 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 You have been like uh, put down everybody from the past ever. I think I want to speak for them. Please be generous. Be generous. They are did they did good job, but then you are qualified by the quality of your uh, of the history. So just just bear uh, bear my comment. Okay, I just want to say what I talk is what I talk. Okay, yeah. you, what it is, you 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 take your point to to say what it is. I want to say, 正确可靠 is most important part. Okay, nobody can deny. Taiwan needs to be improvement, needs to be 正确可靠. That's the most important. And to be socially 
uh, adjust to the people. That's what the Jing told us. If you go to talk to him, and Da Yi Lin Ran, that it is what Li Zhengren, Yi Zhengren mean. He can go to the court to sue the people just for that. I really, when I talk to him, I was, I was shaken. I was really moved about his spirit. Da Yi Lin Ran. Okay. Okay, thank you. Well, because of time, we, are, we cannot continue the debate. So, uh, yeah, you guys can debate over cocktail or dinner. <laughs>